Jiggy Cat On a damn feeling spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And be hanging like a centipede Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Nagato's Revenge and welcome back to the channel. For today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the homebrew called OSU Octave, which is a PlayStation Vita port. And I'll, I have my actual Vita on the charger right now, but if you can see on the screen, let me just tap it. This is a port of OSU running on the PlayStation Vita. Now, this is a actual homebrew and this has released on GitHub as of yesterday. And I was just tapping into the Vita scene. I really haven't been really touching any homebrew since I have been really busy with school and dealing with the PlayStation Home project. However, if you can see here, you could play rhythm games or OSU on your PlayStation Vita. So if you're into stuff like Dance Dance Revolution, which I'm a big fan of myself or like Beat Saber, this is a definitely cool homebrew application. Um, with that all being said, I'm going to showcase to you guys on how to get this successfully installed on your PlayStation Vita device. And anything that I state, as you know, in all of my other videos, I will have that in the link in the description down below, as well as in a pinned comment. With all of that being out the way, we're going to go on to the PC. I'm going to showcase the prerequisites on the screen, and we're going to get started. I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, assuming that you guys did follow everything in the prerequisites, what we're going to do is go ahead and get started on the PlayStation Vita and get the actual application itself transferred over via with Vita Shell. So of course, make sure your device is hacked. I am running a Hankaku Enzo 3.60 on this Vita I have right here. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and launch into Vita Shell. So let me just launch into this application. Uh, for this process, I will be using the FTP method instead of using the USB transfer since the USB is being um, used for as a capture card recorder right now since I have the plugin installed. Um, but regardless, what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit start. Make sure if you're transferring your files over with a USB, make sure to have the USB option selected. If not, what you wanna do is go ahead and choose FTP if you're gonna be transferring over through Wi-Fi like I am. So first things first, what I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure that it's selected. Now, what I'm gonna do is hit select on my PlayStation Vita, and now it will pop up the FTP address or the IPv4 address and along with the port. Now what we're gonna do is transfer back to to the PC. I'm going to showcase, you know, OSU and where to get that download from, as well as just like a little article explaining, you know, some of these features and core stuff like that. So I'll meet you guys back for that portion. Okay, so right now I already have my web browser of choice. All the links I will have will be in the link in the description down below. But as you can see here, this is just a release page just saying of the OSU Octave PS port, or excuse me, the port for the PlayStation Vita. Um, just kind of what I was saying in the intro, OSU is a free to play rhythm game, primarily developed, published, and created by Dean Pe or Peppy Herbert and is expired, or if I could talk today, it is inspired by INES rhythm game osu so yeah i won't read everything you know since the article is kind of pretty long however i will have this in the link in the description down below essentially this is just a open source rhythm game ported to the playstation vita and this is just you know the instructions on how to download it of course once again your vita will need to be hacked but what we're going to do is go ahead and go to the release pages which will take us to the github right here um, let me just go to here and actually the latest release was five hours ago because this was initially released um i believe probably yeah yesterday so a day ago but yeah essentially if you want to read more about oh it's octu or octave excuse me there's the read me here but i'm going to show you guys on how to get this installed so first things first what we're going to go to is the release page here 
we're going to go and scroll down to the assets and we're going to download the osu octave.vpk if you already know how to install vpks it's essentially the same process um but also what we're going to do if you want to have like custom clean maps and um, basically just have your own skins for the directory you can use the clean one or you can use the one that has like game or not game excuse me uh music and actual content in it so that's what we're going to do now download the data dash maps that zip i already downloaded onto my pc so that's why um it was located there but what we're going to do now is go into filezilla so what i'm going to do is just drag and drop osu and the actual data map zip and i'm going to extract this dot zip out you can use winwar or you know since this is a regular zip file um you could just extract it with you know the windows file system but right now uh once that has it fully extracted out to the contents onto your desktop we're going to be using fazla ftp client to get this transferred over to our vita um so yeah first things first i will have this on the side right here and i will have files below. let me go ahead and open that up and right now what we're going to do is type in our playstation vita's port so i already know mine's off the top of the head you could just look on your vita screen and i'll probably have like a little um image on the screen just so you know where you're getting your ipv4 address from um and always mine's is 10.0 point or 10 0, 0, and 81 if I could talk today and the port always for PlayStation Vita to access your console via over FTP is one three three seven. So right now, what I'm going to do is go into the UX zero partition right here. And the first thing we're going to drag and drop is the OSU Octave VBK. I already have it on my console right here, but I'm just going to hit OK. Now, what we're going to do is transfer the data dash maps file into a certain directory in ux0 so let me go back to the official github and let me show you guys that so essentially yeah the data.map zip since we already downloaded the page and unzipped it we want to copy it over to this directory so ux0 your main memory card data and then the resulting directory structure should be like this as the end result uh, ux0 data osu skin so i'm gonna show you guys on how to do that so what we're going to do now is and i'll push this down here so I can kind of read. So we're gonna to go to our UX0 partition, make sure you're in that. In the data folder, you wanna go ahead and create a folder named OSU. So right now I already had mines here, but I'll, I'll just delete it now just for uh, tutorial purposes. But right now, what you wanna do is, once the mines is fully deleted, what you wanna do is create a file directory named uh, OSU so it is taking its sweet time because there is kind of a lot of files in here um you can see there's like 573 files all right so now it's done all we got to do is create a folder named OSU of course you would not have this folder unless you already set this up so OSU and now what we want to do is drag all of the contents from this folder to here so this will take some time of course um one thing I do want to stay out of the back, I will not be playing any of the music in this video since I'm pretty sure like, yeah, this is some Nightcore stuff. I'm pretty sure one of these songs are definitely copyrighted. Like I already know off the back running in the 90s that came from uh, Initial D, one of my favorite animes and stuff like that uh, back in the day. However, yeah, I will not be playing any music because I'm not trying to get copyright flagged. However, I will show you that the music is running on the device what i probably will plan on doing uh for this process is maybe having a or maybe having like a google drive link just so you can see you know some songs playing and i'll probably have that in the link in the description down below but yeah definitely not on youtube but right now i'm just going to let it do its thing to transfer its files over it may take some time since i'm ftping but if you're doing this over usb it will take way you know it'll be way much quicker but with that being said i'm gonna come back once this is finished all right so right now all of my files has successfully transferred over you can see in the ftp um pane right here all my successful transfers were into the correct directory just if you want to verify once again it's never you know too bad to hurt make sure if we go into uh, ux0 right here 
scroll all the way down to the data folder and then if we go into OSU all your content should be here once you you know verify that all of your data has successfully transferred we're going to go back onto the Vita get the VPK installed and then we're going to be playing some OSU beat games so let's go ahead and get that started okay so right now we're back onto the playstation vita what we're going to do is just go ahead and cancel out the ftp session so let me hit circle on my device now what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to our vpk that we just transferred osu octave.vpk install the package it will take a little second for it to load so you know sit back relax um you know drink some water but once that is fully finished um we're going to go ahead and launch the actual application but um it's just you know sometimes with the vbk's it, it like sits at 97 percent for a couple of seconds but you know that's just the vita installing the application getting the icon to live area and stuff like that so um all right so now it's done uh what we're going to do is go back into here and let me scroll all the way down osu octave homebrew application is here what i'll do is uh turn it on up a little bit onto the screen so you could just hear like the little boot up intro hopefully this is not copyrighted because that would be kind of a pain how to edit um but it's doing its thing right now let's see i'm not too good at this game i'm way better at dance dance revolution but uh yeah here is the initial boot up screen to osu octave pretty nice it has like that uh you know general style oh it's off sometimes i can't pronounce it i don't let me know in the comment section down below is it osu or osu because i've heard like different terminology so i apologize if i'm butchering the name however you just tap to start uh but yeah you have your songs right here um it's all touch screen so you could you know select your songs that start with the letter a and e f to j k to o p to t you can also run random um I'm just gonna pick the first song and yeah right now I will just turn it off before I get copyright clipped but uh yeah this is how you play so let's see how can I do I'm sucking really bad at this but uh yeah you can see here this is the game running or oh, let me put it to the screen right here because I'm actually recording through my uh camera but yeah this is how you could play OSU titles or you know basically OSU on your playstation vita in a homebrew format so this is pretty cool if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any issues setting this up um feel free to join the discord leave a comment but with all of that being said my name is nagato's revenge it's good to be back on youtube for right now but i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace